Well, next this morning, the U.S. Senate has averted a major crisis by voting to extend the debt ceiling. In a historic vote, a legislation has been approved which will temporarily raise the federal government's $28.4 trillion debt limit and avoid the risk of a historic default later on this month. The development comes just two weeks before the 18th of October deadline. The Senate voted 50 to 48 to pass the bill following weeks of partisan fighting. The temporary measure raises the U.S. debt ceiling to $480 billion. U.S. lawmakers, however, will still have to address this issue before the new December deadline to avert a possible default. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has urged the Republican lawmakers to help in bringing a long-term solution to On the impending vote, debt the crisis. 50, the nays are 48. Republicans played a dangerous and risky partisan game, and I am glad that their brinksmanship did not work. For the good of America's families, for the good of our economy, Republicans must recognize in the future they should that they should approach fixing the debt limit in a bipartisan way. What is needed now is a long-term solution, so we don't go through this risky drama every few months. And we hope Republicans will join in enacting a long-term solution to the debt limit in December. We're ready to work with them. So what is the debt ceiling and why is it so important to raise the limit of the debt ceiling? Well, in simple terms, the debt limit is the maximum amount that the US government is allowed to borrow to pay its debts. If the amount hits that limit and the government doesn't lift the ceiling, the US would be unable to pay what it owes and possibly end up defaulting on its debts. In other words, the US government spends more money than it collects in taxes, so it borrows to make up for the deficit. Borrowing is done by the U.S. Treasury by issuing bonds. But what happens when Congress doesn't raise the debt ceiling? Well, the U.S. Treasury then takes up measures like suspending the sales of Treasury securities, suspending investments to compensate for the debt amount. Once all these measures get exhausted and monetary backing depletes, the government is then pushed to the edge of going into default. This, however, has never happened in U.S. history, but what happens if the U.S. does default? Well, the situation, if it ever arrives, would affect millions of Americans. If the U.S. government cannot pay its bills, millions of Americans would be affected. U.S. troops and federal civ civilian employees would not be paid. Pension payments would lapse, and Americans on food assistance would not receive any benefits. It can also trigger a global recession and the collapse of the stock market. Coming back to this successful debt ceiling increase, this historic bill will now be sent to the House of Representatives for approval before it can be sent to President Biden for his signature. This $480 billion increase, which would lift the debt limit to $28.9 trillion, is expected to be exhausted, though, by December the 3rd. December the 3rd will also mark the same day when most federal programs expire under a stopgap measure, which was passed earlier this month.